All right, so I've got the suspenders all figured out. Um, I think my dimensions that I've come up with are going to work with the adjustments I have. Um, I went ahead and made patterns for the various pieces of the suspenders. I like to make patterns. Um, a lot of times I'll use the leather that I use for the project to make that pattern. And then I'll just write nonsense on it that makes sense to me. Um, it's really more hole placements and measurements um, that I need to know. So I do, I have, I have written down instructions. I keep notes and then I'll also make hard patterns. And then hopefully between my notes and my patterns, I can reproduce this several times without any issues having to think or make any adjustments. All right, for some of you that are wondering, um, I won't be taking orders on these, not at the moment. Uh, what, what I will most likely do is, as time permits, and I have um, materials, I'll, I'll make them and then just list them on um, Etsy whenever I get my Etsy shop set up. I still haven't done that. I'm just not... I'm not ready. I don't have time. Um, when I get time, I'll have the Etsy shop set up and then people can go there and shop. So this will be a product that I'll, I'll, I'll just have whenever I have them. <laughs> I'm not going to take orders. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. All right. So we'll start at the bottom here. Um, this, this bottom buckle is fully adjustable all the way up to here. And then you can take the back strap and move it up basically to here and shorten this thing all the way from from here to where it's at now. So what's that give you like uh, 20, 12 inches of adjustment, which is ridiculous, but in it, and it won't be cumbersome. It'll, it'll work. So there's good. There's two different options for belt attachments. You have these. Um, nice brass uh, swivel snaps or if you have buttons on your pants um, I have an option for button adapters um, there's I could also make and, and I don't have this right now and I'm not going to do it right now but I could also make an adapter that would work with a belt if you wanted to wear these with a belt um, I can add all that stuff to it later. This is completely modular. So, but for now, these are the two options I have. Spring clip, uh, button adapter. So then both front straps are the same. Um, this is another, this is gonna be another option. It's not a standard. This is a little D ring for attaching stuff um, up on your left shoulder. Hopefully I've got this placed right. <laughs> So it's just going to have to work where it's at. Um, obviously, I could do them on both sides if someone wanted on both sides. But um, it's not going to be a standard item. It'll be optional. Um, the back strap. Here's what I came up with. So that you could place the, <clears throat> the D-ring below your shoulder blades <clears throat> if you're a shorter person or whatever. I came up with this. This is a Chicago screw. Basically, it, it's a screw that has a post. It screws into this post, and then you just unscrew this, and then take your tip of your suspenders and move them up to whatever hole you need to make this back strap adjusted to where you want. So, pretty clever. Um, these, these are pretty tight. They shouldn't back out. Um, I just... One of those things where you just have to double check it, you know, every day <laughs> or every time you wear them. Um, not a big deal. It's it's really worth it's really worth the extra effort to make this back strap completely adjustable. You can't put a a, a buckle back here because when you sit down and lean against something, that bulk is going to pinch into your back. So you have to keep this clean, and that's the cleanest solution I could come up with. So. Um, brass o-ring up top so focused and then hand pounded copper rivets um, my logo in the back 
that's it. They're just a nice, simple, clean um, option for you. Um, and I'll be colors are colors are easy. Um, for now, uh, black is going to be an extra charge because I have to hand dye it. Um, at some point, I could just buy black um, harness leather because that's what these are made out of. This is all harness leather. It's the same leather I use for my belts. Um, I use this because it's low stretch. It's very, very high quality leather. Um, I split it myself. This is... I don't know. It, it, it starts off at a 12 plus. They call it a 12 plus. I split it down to about a nine, maybe eight. Um, I have no way of gauging it, but I just split it down to where I think it feels, um, feels right. So they're heavy duty. They're still thick, but they're not crazy thick that they would be uncomfortable. So, but that's it. They turned out nice. I'm really happy with the, how these suspenders look. Um, I'm excited to offer this product in the future once I get things situated and figured out. Um, look for these to be available. Price-wise, I don't know yet. I still have to figure out all the materials. I know just in hardware, these <laughs> these are pricey. I mean, each one of these, these clips is like $6 a piece. And then... Um, I can't remember what these buckles were, but if I had to guess, they're 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 probably around the five dollar mark. Um, believe it or not, these little Chicago screws are about two bucks a piece, maybe more. I can't remember what this costs, but it, it's you know probably a couple bucks. And then you got a, an O ring, which is probably a couple bucks. And then the hand pounded rivets are probably the cheapest thing on the whole thing, but they're you know inexpensive. Cheap is not a good word because they are the most robust and strongest fastener you could possibly use so and then the price of the leather which is again expensive um, I don't use cheap leather you get what you pay for <clears throat> so in the end it, it makes an absolutely gorgeous product um, these belt keepers for the buttons are made out of the same leather again I split it down to super thin so that it will um match match the the suspenders and as well bend easily so that it'll hook up to your uh buttons so and i have all of these um adapters made up for all these suspenders these are actually going away these are for someone so they'll uh i'll get them all packaged up and shipped out that's why there's um, all the adapters because there's four sets of suspenders here. So four sets of adapters. All right, guys. Well, that's going to wrap this video up for today. Um, I hope to do another video again tomorrow. We'll see. I have a lot going on. I have, um, I got it. Um, sorry. I have a big, I got a big wholesale order that I should have already been started on and I just can't get to it. So um, things have cleared up now. Uh, my next focus is getting this wholesale order knocked out so that I can uh, move on to the next order. <laughs> so hopefully I'll be able to film some of that tomorrow and we'll, can, we'll get back to our regular schedule of videos. Uh, and then the weekend's coming up. So I'm looking forward to that. We had some nice weather the other day, but now it's been raining for the last two days and kind of chilly. So it's a while. Wait 10 minutes, it'll change. So, all right. Thanks for watching my videos. Sorry about the long blabbing in the beginning of this video. Um, I'm just trying to explain where I've been and what's going on. So I appreciate everybody's views and supports, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.